Miami man here. Well, I feel that this is less of a video of an errata, but more, more of handy tips and a different way of doing it. And I think it's actually more efficient. So column A represents the data that you get from data entry personnel from wherever you get this in an email. And now you have to turn it into barcodes. Okay, so you can set this column B to reference column A and go ahead and just remove those colons which is basically uh, the code that's right here and uh, it's not too much uh, in this uh, the ampersand signs basically uh, specify to um, segment the text kind of in a well uh, to add one text to another incrementing it however you see it and I mean it's more practical when you, you actually are writing this out and basically uh, the left function and the right function just means to grab the text from the left uh, just these two from this cell just two characters in and display it so take the text from the left five characters in and then in this outer function on the right uh, basically just show the two last characters on the right and that allows me to basically just eliminate the colons or dashes or however this might come from uh, data entry alright so after that I got this code set up now I can just put in the barcode which is essentially a simple matter of um, putting in the asterisk character here using that ampersand again asterisk over here and of course the cell I'm referencing which would be B2 in this case so of course you have to change the font which is a free 3 of 9 in this case that's what I'm using so essentially this is all done you don't even have to change anything much on the Microsoft Word document so let's save it and close it now let's open up Microsoft Word and that was a book one on the desktop so now I can go over to my mailing section I'm going to go to mail merge I'm going to click labels this time so we know what we're so Microsoft Word at least knows what we're dealing with and then we choose the type of label. I'm going to use this one. Heights one inch, uh, width is four inches, and the page is 8.5 by 11, which is typically what you'd see. Oh, depending on the product, whatever works. So go and click OK. Now we can see uh, how it's separated. My four inch by one, and about uh, I think ten of them on here. So I can now just have to select the data again. Uh, like we've seen before, desktop, my Excel sheet, choose the sheet, press OK. And now something different that we didn't see in the other tutorials, the next record um, has automatically come up. And basically what this means is that I just have to edit this one cell. And when I click this button, update labels, it's going to propagate that information to all the rest of them. Which basically... Uh, this will be uh, row 1, or actually technically row 2 in the Excel sheet because row 1 is just the column headers. This would be row 3, this would be row 4, row 5. It's just pulling data off the Excel sheet and it's doing it in the correct way. So I can say take the Mac, uh, let's see, first I want to see the Mac with the asterisk character. And let me center that in the page. And next I'm going to have a uh, Oops, the Mac without the character at all. And if I preview that, I can see that that's basically what I'm seeing. And this is the barcode actually. This is just in a normal font. So we can actually go ahead and change that font right now. Uh, free, 3 of 9. Increase the size of it. And uh, we need to go ahead and make sure this invisible paragraph character is in invisible and not a barcode characters so change that back and now um, going back to mailings of course uh, if I take off preview you'll see the next record is there so if I click update labels it updates everything if I preview it this is the result and that's basically it so alright that's about it 